Hi, Audacious Church family. Um, I just want to welcome you to today's devotional, whether it's the morning time you're catching it, afternoon or evening. Um, I just hope it blesses you and encourages you. Um, my name is Sam Curley. I'm from the North uh, Campus, part of the uh, core team there. And um, yeah, I just want to share something with you today. Um, and I want to ask you, where is your confidence? Uh, yeah, I suppose that is something that um, means something very different to, to everyone um, who, you know, who ponders on that. And um, I just want to share something with you that's happened in my life um, in regards to my confidence. If you had met me 12 years ago, um, you would know that I was a very uh, shy, quiet, served woman. Um, not because that was my nature, um, but because of things that I'd gone through had, um, had, had silenced me, had affected my confidence um, and dwindled um, those reserves. And um, yeah, I just, I just really, I've been on a, a, a real journey with that. And um, I just wanna share with you how, how God can transform you as well if that's something that you struggle with or um, you need more of in your life and and uh, yeah we, we serve an awesome God of transformation and, and that's something he specializes in because it's it's near to his heart and um, yeah he wants to wants to see that in your life as well so uh, yeah here we go so um, I remember sharing my testimony um, at my baptismal uh, service and it was rather awkward and uh, yeah I I was splitting with my words it was just really yeah discombobulated I knew what I wanted to say um, but I at that time was allowing the fear to um, affect how I was putting that across and um, yeah it was it was it was tricky um, so so shortly after that I kind of just I felt the nudge to join the worship team I've always sang um, but yeah it, it was quite tricky in that I knew God was telling me to step out um, I was acting in obedience however I also knew what I struggled with um, in uh, you know how I added that confidence in, and um, yeah, it was it was you know a whirlwind of, of what God was doing to me and doing through me in that season. Um, but yeah, I acted in obedience, and I did at the time step out, and I'm just so glad I did because um, it just allowed God to move. And at first, you know, I make mistakes, and I still do make mistakes, but um, I was trying to do it in my own ability and in my own strength. And that's not what God wants. He wants us to rely on Him and, and to do things in His um, stead and, and with His reassurance and with His um, guidance. And um, yeah, so the more um, I was reliant on Him for um, my wins and, and in general in life and, and reliant on Him and my relationship grow, grew uh, closer and closer to Him, the more... Um, I had that confidence, uh, not just in him, but in what he was giving me as a um, responsibility and what he wanted me to do in my calling, um, but also in the fact that he was um, delighted in me, um, I hope, anyway, delighted in what I was doing. And um, I was also being used to bless others. Um, and that, that again, that, that helped to build uh, my confidence. So. I just want to share some um, scripture with you because confidence is all over the Bible. Um, it's just so important to God um, and it should be to you. Um, it's in 168 scriptures, um, you know, clear as day, stating confidence, but it's in so many more and it is reminding us to have our confidence in Jesus. Um, it's just so crucial. Um, 
that comes as well with um, relationship, relationship, spending time with God, spending time in the Word. He will reveal His nature to you more and more. Uh, he, you will realize how much you can trust Him and rely on Him. And in that, um, your confidence in Him will grow, and uh, the revelation of, of who you are will start to manifest into who you are. And um, yeah, you'll just see those those changes in 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 your life in areas of, of trust and um, your confidence and your reliance on jesus to yeah to just to, just to take charge of of um anything you're going through so um yeah so i'm just going to read something to you um in philippians 1 6 it says being confident in this he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of jesus christ and uh also, um, Jeremiah 17 verse 7 says, uh, He who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is indeed in the Lord, is blessed. When you have your confidence in Jesus, you are blessed. It's a blessing to have that confidence in him, to be able to trust in him, for him to strengthen you, to make you bold and to step out. Um, so, yeah, I just really want to remind you that we must go forth with God-given confidence today and going forward. He doesn't want us to shrink back or be timid or, or live in fear. Um, it's not our portion. We really, really need to um, walk with Jesus and 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 walk with the confidence of of him in our lives and, and what he's doing to us and through us um yeah so, so that's it really and uh, obviously everybody's at a different stage and uh, and wherever you are god will meet you there and um yeah so yeah, I hope that's been a blessing to you. I just really want to pray. I've also got um, a scripture for, for anybody who's, who's facing challenges and battles um, right now that they can have that reassurance in Jesus because um, his word and his promises are yes and amen and, and they're true and, and we serve a good, good father and you need to know that and stand on his promises and, and, and tell him that you need him to move those mountains in your life that, that are affecting um, your, your confidence or affecting areas of your life that are not of God and not what he wants for you. So Psalm 27 verse 3 says, Though an army besiege me, I will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. So that is yours. Claim it uh, in Jesus' name. And uh, yeah, so let, let's just pray, church, about this message um, today. And um, yeah, let, let, let's just uh, let's just pray together, Lord. We just thank you for your church. We thank you for your children. We thank you, Jesus, that you are interested in um, the finer details of our lives. Dear Heavenly Father, you want our confidence to be in you. You want us to radiate confidence um, that you have given us to Heavenly Father. Um, Lord, you want us to trust you and, and rely on you to Heavenly Father and draw strength from you because in our weakness we are made strong through relationship with you, through reliance and confidence um, in, in our, our connection to you, Jesus. Lord, we are called to be uh, the, the, the light to the world. We are called to be um, the, the reflection of you to others in the world and lord let us ooze your god-given confidence out not in a prideful way lord you don't don't want us to be um prideful and 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 overbearing but you want us to be the the pillars and the encouragers and and the and the uplifters and, and the strengtheners to those in our world to heavenly father because we have that trust and confidence in you and 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 that will radiate from us to heavenly father lord and i lift up anybody to you that is going through challenges anybody who's being called to step out and do new things and be confident in their gifting and be confident in what you call them to do. Lord, I pray that they will feel encouraged and they will have that confidence to know that you will be with them and you will strengthen them and, and, and help them in that. Put the right people around them in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, we pray that you will just have your way 
today and going forth and bring the transformation that we need to see in our lives and in the lives of those around us. And thank you for that, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take care, everyone. Bye.